Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Sim Casino. Where last episode, guys, we did some crazy expansions. Not only did I expand the hotel to a second floor, oh my goodness me, look how many freaking hotel rooms you got right now. The game had an update, which now means I'm able to charge 600 big ones per hotel room. It's a big game changer. I've now doubled my money. We added in more conference rooms, a bigger computer room, extended the dining experience. Oh my goodness me, and got a secondary bar in. Boys, we have money coming out of our ears right now. This is how crazy it is. Uh, we also are on the way to paying off those debts right now. Now, I asked you guys whether I should kind of simulate until this episode to pay off all the debts and then sell the casino and uh, build it, our dream casino. And or to they say, should I do one more episode where we expand a little bit more, try and make a little bit more money so we've got even more money to open up another casino? Uh, we had a, a few different options. Uh, some of you guys said, Seniak, you can open up another casino without uh, selling this one. And I thought, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. But I feel like I'm only, I don't want to manage two. I want to just build my dream casino and we just live a life of luxury. So what we're going to do right, is today, we're going to spend as much money as we can in doing upgrades and adding in more stuff that can make us more money. Because the goal is, as this episode progresses, we'll keep making payments on our loans and we'll slowly pay them back. In that same time we're doing that, we're adding in more slot machines, more table games, more hotel rooms. And then by the time we have almost paid back those loans, we would have made even more money because we keep investing the current profits. And we might even have close to a million to build our dream casino. Not saying that we're going to have a million, but I mean, it could be a good, good little shout. So as of right now, the casino valuation is 462000 Current debts and liabilities, 200 and, say 250 rounded up, which means that I should get 700,000 if I had no debts in the casino whatsoever, right? That's what I'm kind of thinking. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just want to try and get that as close to a million as possible. So, we milked the casino before, but now we are truly, truly, we are now going to milk it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go up a floor right now and we're going to add in as many more hotel rooms as possible now i do know that the hotel room is one two three four five six seven across so actually if i start here it's seven across so i need to do a multiple of seven seven is it seven by eleven no it's seven by twelve so if i do a multiple of Seven, so seven, uh, 14, uh, 21, 28, 35, which will bring us to here. Now, it's one short of the wall there, but I don't mind that too much. I'm not going to cry about it. And then we've got, again, another 35 by 12. Now, the reason I'm doing hotel runes and going kind of hotel crazy it's because they do. They do seriously make you money. They, they seriously make you money, don't they? So, let's dismantle these walls. Is that the right button? Dismantle walls and fences. There we go. So, create that corridor coming down. Now, when we copy or clone something, it doesn't clone the walls, does it? So, if I place this in here, boom. Oh, no, wait, wait, it does. I didn't need... Oh, last episode, I was cloning... All, I was building all the walls first, wasn't I? Now I feel I feel dumb. I feel super dumb. And then we'll get this one in right now. I'm still... I'm learning every time we play this game. Learning every time we play this game. So that is now more rooms. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. That's an additional, additional ten rooms. $600 a pop. Uh, an extra six grand we can now have. Yes, boys. I'm taking it right now. I'll take it. That's good stuff. Now, do we know how many hotel rooms we have in total? Because this laundry room... Um, has a capacity of 36. I always thought that was capacity of hotel rooms. But I think it's capacity in terms of, like... Like, in the storage section. So, with those additional uh, hotel rooms, then... I'm gonna up it. I'm gonna up it to twenty. Set target number of crates twenty. There we go. 
Holy moly, it's, it's a lot, isn't it? It's, it's a Lala hotel room, but this should make me serious cash. Because I know we make so much money off um, hotel rooms in general. Like, for example, the previous day, we made 45,000. I'm expecting to be over 50, 55, potentially even pushing 60,000 on accommodation. Now, business use made us nearly three grand. I could still expand the free kid computer room. They don't seem to want to use the uh, the conference rooms that I've set up. The additional ones. So, shall I have two, but then merge these three into an additional computer room? Hmm, I might do, but it's kind of expensive, and I've only got 60000 left right now, which I could spend in doing other stuff. So, the tables, I'm going to try and expand these. I'm thinking about creating an, an like another like a, a, a table gaming room area, and then turning this here into even more slot machines. Or do I do the bingo? Ooh. Does your boy now go and set up the bingo hall? Hmm. <laughs> or do I move the bar into this area? And then have more slot machines here? Or do I get rid of this room? Just build a more rows of slot machines in general? And then move... Oh, it's... it's uh, I, don't know, I don't know which way to go with it. I don't know which way to go with it. But let me just kind of see... Let me just empty all these tables anyway. They're probably doing it already, and there's probably not much to take out. But I want to make a start on getting our bank balance up ready for the next day, just so I know where we can currently stand and how much money I can spend, knowing how much money I've got coming in on the next day. So if I empty as much as possible... Um, so just trying to get the, the big ones gone. The ones that are like over a grand and stuff like that. Some of them, they've got quite a few in. Quite a few in some of them. That one's got 2,600. Holy smokes, have we got big paydays here right now. We have got some serious paydays going on in these. You can't select, like, multiple, can you? Is that not a thing? No. It'd be good if we could, like, empty cash on everything. That would be so much more handier. Anyway, 44,000, which means I'm going to walk away with 34,000. Pretty sweet, mate. Pretty sweet. All those computer users coming in. So I could drop in more computers, but like it is quite expensive, and I can spend that money elsewhere. So knowing what I've got coming in on the next day, I could now progress to build a bigger room. So we're going to throw it over here. So if I spend... If I, it's 24, no, 24 by 30 is what I'm going to go with. It's quite a big room. And this is where we're going to put all our gaming, uh, well, gambling tables in. That is what we're going to do. So we're going to go back to the build mode. We're going to dismantle the walls. And I'll do it like this so we have like a nice little corridor coming in. We'll do another one there and another one there. Just have like a nice little arched walkway as they enter the room. Nice. Now, these ga gambling tables are quite expensive. They are quite expensive, so I won't be able to keep you know, always buying them. But should I do the flooring, or is that, like, a unnecessary expense? I want to create... Is it that flooring we got over here? No. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So I want to create something very similar to what we've currently got. And if I was to build all the way across here... Okay, it's not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. And we just got that, is it that yeah, it's that grey standard carpet going around. So I'm still not all like all clued up on making the perfect casino floor layout, but we're just gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. And what we'll do right now is we'll slowly start moving them one by one. So cash ear cage, I think we'll have there. Well, where's the poker table? Free card poker, baccarat there. That's the, the general poker there. We'll move this one first. And we'll place it there. And I'm going to try and get them all in a row. I'm just going for efficiency over design. You go there. That's literally all I'm going for right now, is efficiency over design. Move you to... 
there. Let me see. I, I want to see where the employees stand. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. And then we have the blackjack table. Can go there. And then that is our full row. And then what we'll do, we'll make these ones spin them round. Is that one slightly bigger than that one? Yeah, it's all good. And we make these ones go back up that way. And then move you there. So, we don't make big money like the slot machines, but I've noticed that every time I keep emptying, there is like over at least a grand in each of these tables. So if we can get more of them, then we could be onto a winner. So gaming then, I know we have lots of poker tables on the go. So I feel like we should be squeezing in more poker tables, right? So if I go one, how much are there? 10,000 a pop, two. Right, roulette tables, 10,000. These need more space, one, two. And that leaves me with 25 grand in the bank right now, which I feel super poor. I feel super poor. <laughs> We've got to wait for employees to come over here. Now, because of how much money we're now making, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We set the, not, oh, not the, no, yeah, I do want this, sorry. Uh, trusted staff, is that what I want? Nighttime, we like, we, I get rid of the schedules, so it, it's like almost borderline 24-7. Or daytime. I make daytime all the way up to... 8 a.m. No, 2 a.m. is they go home. That's Monday to Friday. Saturday to Sunday. Oh, I've got auto save on the go. Damn it, game! Just so I can make the days, the gambling days, last a little bit longer. Sweet. Okay. Right. We'll probably have to up our deliveries. Getting more stuff coming in. So, card decks, we've got four. Um, I'll move this to five. Uh, coins and notes. That was um, one equals 10,000. So I'm not going to go down that road. But there we go. Anyway, we've got additional. We've now got additional. So while I'm going to... Are you okay? She's still sitting there at the table. Wait, teleport to pickups? I think that's, if, yeah, if she does get stuck. Uh, okay, so we're now going to dismantle the walls. So I'll dismantle you all the way down to here. Flooring. I know the carpet's not very elaborate, guys, but it is what it is. I'll keep that like that. Shall I move the bar over to here? If I move this to there, and if I build the other bar like that, how much is that? 4,800. Okay, we'll go with that. And then should I get rid of this bar, or should we keep it in? Ooh, decisions. Then I guess we'll order slot machines over here. Now, I know these ones... I have the most players on the 25 cent ones so i might do like a, a another section of 25 cent machines this is good stuff this is good stuff already so as we keep getting a big payday coming in we'll build a few more tables and i'll just keep an eye on which table i notice has the most players on that's what we'll do that's what we'll do but, okay, gaming, gambling. Um, right, I pick a couple of these. Now, if I build 10 of these, it's going to cost me 25,000. So if I drop these going all the way down there, that's, okay, 11. No, okay, we can't do 11 because we need that corner piece.
Now, actually, go to where the anchor. I'm going to create a walkway just there. Right. And it's going to be, what are these? These are seven slots. I put the attraction level up, though. Right. One, it's 25 cent first. Ooh, hold on, because I'm going to do it all in a row. But it's not really going to work out like, oh, I'm in debt. Pause. Hold on, guys. I'm in slightly little bit of debt right now. It's okay, though. But I just want to get first. I want to dismantle you, because I want to place all in a row kind of system. Um, so apply to all in a row. Doesn't do to them, does it? No. But all these now should be 25. Yep. And then the game. Where do I change the game again now? I forgot. Wait, can you not change the game? Or is it just... Oh, no. Be, okay, yeah, because it's the type of slot machine it is. I forgot about that. So put it to play then. So we should have the armored truck now come, which they'll load up with the monies. Get out of here. We're now back in the green. <laughs> oh, I got a little bit, little bit touchy there for a second, didn't it, guys? You got a little bit touchy. But that's okay. It's now uh, the middle of the night, so not really much is going to happen. So while that's, that has now happened, today so far, but I want to check on the previous day. So the previous day, 57,000 in accommodation went from 45,000 to 57. Ridiculous. We lost 93 grand, but obviously, I, I mean, spent 150 on construction. So imagine what I could have made. Damn, boy. Uh, today so far, accommodation 600. Uh, we're 38,000 up today so far. So I've, I've got to pretty much do the same thing, making sure that we uh, ha have enough money. So I'm waiting for a delivery to come for these machines. I might call the transportation settings. Oh, it's going to come in nine hours. I'm going to call it early anyway. It cost me about 11 grand to do some restocking. Uh, but that's fine. We'll have all the stuff right now uh, for the slot machines which we're actually waiting for workers to come in i just realized that so i need to edit the schedule of the workers so workmen there we go and for them daytime you know what? we should make it where the workmen never go home monday to friday i've got the money to be able to pay them i ain't worried about that now at least then we can have stuff always happening right at least then we can always have something happening and stuff getting done. So the workmen are now here. They're going to go around now, fix stuff, you know, repair stuff, do what they've got to do. And because they're here 24-7, it should all get done a lot quicker. Genius. So they'll repair everything before they start refilling everything. Nice, 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 nice. So we need to slowly then go around emptying the machines again. Because I need money for the next day, as your boy goes on those rapid expansions. So empty all the cash in all the machines. There's a big one there, big payout. Right, I'm just going to focus on the big payouts. Any more big payouts? I'll go for this one. It's not huge, but I'll take it. A thousand on that one. Six hundred on that one. I'll take that one. Oh damn! We'll take some of these. Yeah, I'll keep taking them. Every little helps, right? Wait, hold on. What's going on? They're dropping money bags on the floor. Uh, guys. Why are you dropping money bags on the floor? Oh, do I need more storage? Right, where's storage? Aha! Let's get some more storage in. Workers can do what they gotta do. Why are they not picking up the money bags on the floor? That kind of slightly worries me. That they haven't picked up any money bags on the floor. Guys. You've left money bags on the floor. Is anybody gonna get them? 
Are we just not accepting money bags anymore? Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. <laughs> There's just free money on the floor for anybody who wants to pick it up. Why did I not pick it up? Oh, I can sell it myself. But that's not the point. That is not the point. There is so much cash just lying around. Did I press the right button when I was emptying this stuff? Oh, no. I'm going to have to sell the cash myself. I'm not sure what happened. I legit not sure what happened. But the casino is now hustling and bustling again. So, who's got big money? You've got big money. Empty cash now. I want to see what happens when the security guard comes over. What did I do with it? Just drop it on the floor. Why? Is your room now broken? Well, let me rezone the cash vault. Oh, I rezoned it. Now stuff's happening. They've gone walkabouts. But they still don't want to bring it into here. I don't exactly know what's happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'll just leave them to do what they've got to do. Maybe they might fix it themselves. Who knows? Who knows? I'm scared to actually buy stuff right now. And, the you know, in case they don't pull it into the vault. But I did notice that they pull it into the cash machine. Hmm. Could it be that I don't have enough cash coming in? So maybe I up it to 20,000. Is my limit. Hmm. Because mm -mm. they keep seem to push it into the ATM machine instead. On the stuff that they collect manually. Like, I mean, not, uh, automatically, not manually, sorry. Man, there's a lot of people in the casino right now, isn't there? There really is. So many hotel rooms on the go. We're doing so good. I would have increased my valuation of the, of the casino too. So, in terms of monies, casino valuation, 530000 Not bad. We're still 700000 in liability. Well, once the liabilities are paid off. So, we've got to push it a bit more. Bank loans are slowly coming down. If I pay, try to pay this one up in full right now, 255000 A bit excessive. This one's 117000 That'll save me five grand a day. So that's because that could be something that I eventually pay off myself. And still the the vault money doesn't want to go up. This has got me worried. This has slightly got your boy worried right now. Why you don't take the monies? I'm confused. So confused. It's it's slightly worrying me that you won't put the money in the vault. I don't know what's going on. Uh, right, tables. I've been now placed more down. It kind of spreads out the uh, the peeps. But I still think poker is the one that's gaining the most traction at the moment, isn't it? That's what I personally think, anyway. It's what your boy personally thinks. Uh, right. Okay. So how much money have we made on the day? 72,000? I wonder what that's going to drop down to once we've done all the uh, stuffs. So if I emptied this now, they'll come out. And that's it. The money doesn't want to go into the vault. Or anything like that. So I'm not sure what to say. 
Also, we need more storage shelves in here. Because I keep leaving these out in, in, in <laughs> on the grass. <laughs> They're not going to be clean sheets, are they? They're going to be far from it. Right, she, they keep placing the money in the ATM machine. Now, is it because the ATM machine doesn't have enough money in? So rather than pull it into the vault, they go and pull it into the ATM machine? If that is the case, I then need to change something here, don't I? So a receipt payout. I don't know what this means. Coins and notes. I've upped it to two. So I'll have 20,000 in the vault at all times. I suppose once they pull it into the cash machine, I get the money instantly, right? But nobody wants to like really like fully empty a machine. It's a weird one, isn't it? It really is. This brand attraction right now for these guys is not good. Lucky Mill. Apply all in a row. So get some attraction increase for them guys. I've never really seen many people on these, and I think it is down to the fact that it's the brand attraction's low. Really low. Right, okay. It seemed to messed up when I called the, the, the truck in early, so I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, right. Okay, okay, okay. We're ticking along quite nice right now. Is there anything I can research that will benefit us a little bit further? So, big marketing I can do. I haven't really done any marketing. The theater. A collection of objects and zones to build dressing room stages and box office stands. Schedule shows and watch the queues grow. Ooh. Okay. Okay, fast access. Now, should we go for the theater? Let's go for the theater. Let's see what this is all about. I have big enough room over here to kind of add something. And if I reconfigured and re placed some of those stuffs tables but the next day is about to end i just spent like what is it, like 16 grand on researching so let's see where this day ends it's about to end right now 33,000 we now gone down to the truck's gonna come for the vault in just a moment but there's nothing to take out but it will probably deliver like coins and stuff anyway that's even if it even if it arrives. Hold on. It's coming in 20 odd hours. No, it didn't arrive, did it? So, on the previous day then, we made 42 grand. Okay. I mean, that wasn't a bad day, right? That wasn't a bad day. So, are they just throwing it into the ATM machines? Is that what they're doing right now? I don't really know. My mind has, has is, is so confused. So confused. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Staff management. So, trusted staff. Monday night time. Security guards got on the go. Retail workers, chefs, night time. Yeah, this is class as night time, isn't it? We got pit buses in. We don't really have any. Do we have any admins? Yeah, no, we do. Yeah, because they research stuff for us. So that's all good. So now we're not. Nothing's really happening because we are now waiting for officially the day to start. So if I can get this theater stuff done, we can check it all out, see what's going down. It's probably going to cost us an arm and leg to get set up, but if we can have like events happening then that is going to make us big cash because that could potentially bring a lot of people into the casino. A lot of people in. Not quite sure how that's going to work, so that's going to be even more interesting. Uh, so we're already at... Whoa, we're already at 4 a.m. and had 991 guests. Is that right? I feel like the game's slightly broken. Let me quick save, right, the game. Let me quick load the last save. Just in case something has gone wrong. Because it doesn't feel right now. That's the kind of vibes I'm now getting from this game. It doesn't feel quite right. But we're back again. 
fast forward. I've reloaded the game uh, right now. So, blow that down. Oh, I found out this as well. I can get rid of the zoning so you can kind of see. It, it looks so plain and boring, boring when I get rid of the zoning. Oh my goodness me, now there's cash in the vault. I don't know what happened there, guys, but we're now back to normal. We're now back to normal. That is so weird, isn't it? And they're going to manually collect the cash. Some pull it into the ATM machine. We did collect some. So, with that logic, if I empty some cash now, we should put it on the floor. No, she's taking it to the vault. I don't even know anymore what is real life. I don't even know what's real life anymore. But it's 20 grand. There's 10 grand to collect anyway. So, this research in there is going to get done in two hours, which will then be 9 a.m. 9 in the morning. Okay, that's good. That's good stuff right now. We've made minus 2,000 today so far because the, the truck didn't come to empty the vault. So this might be a, an awkward day. Hopefully the accommodation can pick up and that'll be the money that covers everything. Researching 1.3 hours to go. The chefs are here right now. The buffet's filled up. Yep. Food is ready to go for people to eat. And how many... Oh, we're 30 minutes off, boys. We're slowly getting there. Slowly, slowly getting there. And now it's done. The theatre is done. So this is going to be interesting then to see what happens. What did it actually say again? So, dressing room stages, box office stands, schedule shows and watch the queues grow. Um, does that mean we can have like... I'm trying to think what kind of stuff like a casino would have in terms of events. Like a boxing match? That's kind of what I can think right now. Let's take a look. So where does that fall under entertainment attraction oh oh so theater hall which we have a theater balcony no this is like shows like like theater shows obviously so we have the box office where we can sell tickets a seat row we can do the theater stage the signs decorative Ooh, okay. Right, okay. Where, I mean, I could place it at the end of this corridor here, couldn't I? So where is the the dressing room? I need a makeup booth and a wardrobe. Which is this, a makeup booth there. Right. Okay. Okay. So, I know this is going to be really expensive. I'm trying to compute things in my brain. I'm going to have to empty as much as I can so I can guarantee it there's going to be a big chunk of money coming in on the next day to pay for what I'm about to do. So, let me just get make sure all these get emptied. Real quick, the vault gets filled up. So now I can guarantee money's coming in. I ain't gonna stress like I have been doing. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there's nothing really big I can take out apart from table stuff. Oh, okay, okay. The big money's in the tables right now, guys. The big money is in the tables right now.
Okay, the big money was in one table. But I got nearly 40,000 to come out. So we can, yeah, we can use this. We can use this. So foundation then. I'm not entirely sure how big this room is going to be exactly. But if I go, if I go like this, is that too big? I feel like that's way too big. Let me kind of cancel that. Right, if I do a 20 by 5 there. Twenty by five there, straight down the middle. So we've got like a theatre style room in, in many ways. And I can do the dressing room just here. Now the box office at the entrance point. So go to building, dismantle the walls. So if I bring it well, I'll dismantle all the walls first. There we go, there we go, there we go. And then actual oh no, dismantle these ones. So then actual walls I'm going to have it go across there to there so we can, they can walk in, ticket booths all here then they walk into the theatre, the dressing room's just here that's how we're going to have it set up so theatre hall balcony zone ooh, ok we're just going to keep it simple first oh does that not work? Um, does it have to be a room? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's because I don't have it selected. I'm so dumb. Right, how do I dezone a room? There we go. I didn't have zoning selected. I'm so foolish. Uh, single dressing room. Okay, so we we have to make that into like a, a tube, like a, a double. So if I did that like that, kind of halves it in, in a way, not fully. Uh, and then doors, 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 doors. There we go. So a fear dressing room would require the makeup booth. And what else does it require? And a wardrobe. So we'll go for this one. Is that all it needs? Yes. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Then the theatre stay. Oh my good god, that is huge. Requires me placing a two-story room. Oh, snap. So if I go to there <laughs> and then go down the floor, does it then work? How do I make a two-story room? Oh, have I got to delete the floor? Right. Uh, foundation, demolish walls, demolish structures. Remove floors. Ah, gotcha. That really does become a two. Okay, I've got you right. This is mental. This is legit mental. So if I place that, it's, it's going to be off centered. It is what it is. If I place that there, right, and then seating. If we start here, all the way across, right to the back is the seating area. I'm keeping this very basic and simple. And then we have the box office booths. There we go. Right, okay. So then, rename. These are dressing rooms. Can't really do much with them. How do I schedule an event? So, attractions hub, manage, entertain. <gasps> I can create shows. I can create shows. So, the, it has a, okay, right, as capacity for that. The Black Widow, 1,000 per show. Popularity, I'm going to schedule that. 
price satisfaction what if i go 50 no okay not 50 30 no 20 25 okay we can get away with 25 there's four performers which if i pause real quick we're going to need more dressing rooms aren't we Now, I noticed that it can be a free by free. So I'm just going to do it like this really awkwardly. Just for the sake of getting these in. Uh, so. No, that's not the one. This is the one. I'm going to get. Yeah, I'll just get five in for the sake of then having them in. Uh, we need a door. It's gonna be, I know it's weird that the, the, <laughs> the dressing room's on the side of the, the theater. But it's what makes it so intimate and beautiful and wonderful. So back to play mode then. And manage entertainment. So that's going to happen at 9. And then we'll have the Black Widow also here as well. 20. So $20 a ticket times 45. It's 900, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is. <gasps> no, I can't. That's going to cost me way too much money. I'm going to lose money from that, aren't I? If that's correct. So. I can't get any more seating in. I'm now very awkwardly trying to get additional seating in. We need a bigger theatre. Already we need a bigger theatre. So, manage entertainment. 50 free now. Six performers. One performer. Okay, so at 12, we'll go for this Ashley Bell. Where's she gone? Okay, we'll go with Dance Divine. Accept show. We'll go with Tia Booth. And I'll see what happens. Because we should have a show starting at 9. So I wonder how this is now going to work. Or is this going to be like a huge money pit? Oh no, we're selling tickets. We're actually selling tickets. Only one person bought a ticket, though. I oh, know, no, no, no. People are now starting to buy tickets. The show is now happening. I think. Oh, I didn't sell that many tickets. <laughs> oh snap! Yeah, but we need a bigger theatre. Like to have a theatre, you got to put so much into it. Now I realise. So does that happen? Is it entertainment? The Black Widow. I mean, it cost us a grand. We 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 made what nineteen or sixty. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, maybe it's the wrong. I, I should. It, it needs to be an evening slot. Like nine o'clock in the morning. What am I thinking? Nine o'clock in the morning for a performance slot. Am I crazy? I must be. I freaking must be. Oh, dear God. But anyway, it all ups my casino evaluation anyway. I'm up to about 800,000 right now in evaluation. Uh, current bank loans we've got left to pay. Let me just reposition this. Seven more days on this. We could... Not far off being able to pay that back in full. This, still very expensive. But we're not far off by getting all the loans done. And then your boy can legit build his dream casino. We've made some big improvements. We've made some beautiful money-making schemes. And we're going to see what happens in the next episode. Hopefully next episode, then, we are making our dream casino. Guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good.